I spoke today about sort of um, treatments for EGFR mutant lung cancer. Um, the first part of the talk really focused on um, what, what data is out there. I think the, the real kind of key is the new use of osimertinib in the first line setting. Um, so the Flora study read out late last year that really showed that osimertinib had sort of a doubling of the median progression free survival compared to what was previously the standard of care and, and, and NIC osimertinib really being the standard of care for first line treatment. Um, then I really talk, spoke about um, thinking about uh, resistance mechanisms. I think um, that really is a key with targeted therapy is kind of thinking about, you know, these treatments are, are very effective and they work for a long time, but at some point all patients have progression and it's really key to re-biopsy patients at, at that point, look to see what the different resistance mechanisms are. I think with osimertinib there are patterns that are emerging. I think that off-target resistance really is going to be a more dominant factor. Osimertinib is an excellent EGFR inhibitor, so we're seeing less acquired EGFR mutations. We sometimes see EGFR C797S, but it's probably more like 15% rather than the 60% we saw with T790M and uh, erlotinib and afatinib and gefitinib. So I think, you know, we need to see what, what, what is prevalent and what's common, and then I think the key is looking at combinations to sort of prevent uh, those resistance mechanisms.